All right, hello everyone. My name is Santiago, and in this video, I'm going to show you my Actions website I created by myself as part of the CS15 uh, web programming with Python and JavaScript. So I'm just going to quickly show you a general overview, uh, demonstrating each of these websites earlier. So I'm going to add a new item. Um, I'm going to select items from this website. To demonstrate we can add new items. First website. So in the title, we can provide the title, we can provide the description, no description for now. Uh, let's paste the image URL um, and a new styling. This belongs to the clothing category and we can see we have been able to add a new item to our options. Right. This is working, we can add this um, action to a watch list at two, by clicking on the, uh, at the watch list button and this Gryffindor meeting it's over here so you can see here and if you can even click on this button on this um, URL takes you to the um, options to the listings page uh, so this is all also working uh, so we have signed in as Santiago, but I can look out and sign in as I've previously created a different user named Ale. So we can see the active listing center index page. I'm going to click on open and I can place a bit on this uh, item. So I'm going to it's like thousand place a bit. If this is higher, the bid should be placed successfully. But if this is, for example, like 10,000, then the bid must be great already. This is working. Uh, we can also let's demonstrate the comments functionality. So we can just say, hey, thanks for sharing that comment. And the comment should be added to this action space. The comments function is also working. Um, all right, so uh, let's demonstrate the who is going to win this functionality, like who is going to win this uh, item. So the only person capable of ending this auction, of course, is its owner. I'm going to look, log out again, and logging back with the um, owner user account. Let's open it up and click on the timeout button which means the auction should be ended then up you can see here the item is no longer visible from our active listings log out log in Ale, uh, this is the user who uh, bet on that item and the, uh, the auction is not visible on our index page but we have this auctions history option over here and if i click on here we can see this user has won this particular because has paid the highest bid on it. Uh, all right, I think this is pretty much it. The watch list is working. You can delete uh, an item from your watch list by just clicking on the delete button. And you can see here the page is refreshed and the item is no longer uh, in this list. All right, so uh, let's show the admin interface okay so let's admin we should provide the uh, admin user uh, information and from here i can just basically edit delete add new content to my website so i should have some comments over here in this case thanks for sharing i should be able to delete this comment um and i should be able to for example like delete a category oh um okay. item comments for example all right, all right. i have already all right for example items i'm going just to delete new wait why i can't items oh okay yeah. here Items going to the listed one and items and right, how much time do you have? Right and logout, 
login Ale Alright hello guys, I just forgot to history so you, you can see the categories that here are. Are. So right here I'm going to create a new item And as you can see I'm going to choose the toys category So this item is going to belong to this category uh, click on the submit button. We can see we have a single active listing on our index page. And if I go to a categories option, here we can see all the different different categories currently available. Click on the toys, and we should see our single item available within this category. All right? That was it. Thank you so much. Bye bye.